All right, we're back here for uh, another episode of Six Packs and Shooters. So uh, I got a beer here, and I was playing on my Pandora's box the other day, and I thought, saw this game, and I thought, well, that game, eh, probably go with this beer. They're both cats. So I'm going to turn this on here, start recording a uh, capture video. So got this beer. Made here in Pennsylvania called Lion's Head. It's not a expensive beer. This is a uh, sub fifteen dollar a case beer, um, but it's a good cheap beer. It's actually very tasty beer. It's uh, brewed in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. It's uh, that may be like an hour, hour and a half away from where I live. It's good beer. It's a good Pilsner, a deluxe. Pilsner. So, Lion's Head, we were going to play uh, this game here that's named after a cat, too. It is called Flying Tiger. Never really played this game much, but we're going to check it out. That's good beer. I don't care what anyone says about cheap beer. Some beers are really cheap, but they're really good. So, put that there. Oh, I think my sound was a little low. And... Oh, well, I'll be that guy. Oh! It skipped games, didn't it? Yeah, it did. There we go. I don't know how it jumped up to that game. This is the one we want to play. Flying Tiger. There we go. My sound seems low. Alright. credits in there. I, I don't ever remember seeing this game in the arcade at all, ever. I, I've never played it in the arcade before. I've never seen it released on any uh, home console. And I'm not good at this game. Eh, far from it. We'll see uh, how far we can get. Damn. Playing this on my Pandora's box.
It's like a bullet hell shooter, kinda. It's like... Shit comes in all over the place. That's a nice boss. Well, we continued three times before we got to him. We might be able to beat this. Don't smoke and don't do drugs. The rabbit didn't say don't drink. That rabbit would have said don't drink. I couldn't have played this game as uh, six packs of shooters. There ain't no way. Ah! Uh. Nice to, ah, shit. That was nice to see a fucking third weapon come up. That sucks. That's definitely bullet hell shooter there, buddy. Boss battle. I guess you ain't gotta shoot him in the head, you can shoot him anywhere, as long as you're hitting them, you kill him. That's a nice weapon. Too bad I'm gonna lose it. See? 
I did pick up an extra guy though, so. As soon as I get any type of good power up. I get whacked by a fucking stray bullet. And I'm dead. What the So this game came out in nineteen ninety two. I never seen I never saw this game in the arcade. I've never heard of this game outside of playing it on here. To be honest, this is like the first time I've played it. I just saw the name, I loaded it up, check it out, and I thought that would go great with the beer I'm drinking right now. Lion's Head, Flying Tiger. that like continue six seven ah uh, wasted a bomb I mean this isn't a bad game definitely in your arcade when arcades were a thing when I was in my teens not a game that I would have played in the arcade. Just because I didn't play shooters. I played fighters and side scrolling action games. Um, and Golden Age arcades. When I was, I'd say from the age of 10 to 16, 17, that was the golden age arcades for me, probably for a lot of people. And my favorite game that my games that I would religiously go in and look for in the arcade and, and, and put money into were Street Fighter 2 any iteration of Street Fighter 2 uh, any of the Mortal Kombat's because I like playing them uh, Killer Instinct when it came out that was that was near the end of like when I would be going in the arcade, like, uh, I would play, I love this game, and it's not on here, it's a shooter, uh, it was called Last Mission, it was like a free roaming top-down shooter, kind of like, uh, kind of like some of the levels in, uh, the Thunder Force games, 
like the early ones, like the two, I believe it is. You got that top down, free roaming. The whole game was like that, and I loved it. Um, in order to get to the boss, you had to kill a set number of bases in that level, and then the boss would come out. And if you died, you had to do it all over again. Like, if you died on the boss, the boss didn't come back after you, you know, it's the level started over again and you had to fly around, destroy all the bases to get to the boss again. It was not an easy game, but I loved that game when uh, it was in the arcade. I'll have to, like, load it up on Name or something and play it as, uh, as a six packs and shooters. I really like that game. Uh, I try to find some footage and put it at the end or during where I'm talking about this right now. Uh, another game that I really loved playing in the arcade when the arcades were the heyday is uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Both of them. Those were really good games in the arcade. Final Fight. Loved Final Fight in the arcade. Golden Axe. Of course, if anybody watches any of my videos, they saw that my girlfriend and I just did the uh, Couples Therapy Gaming Golden Axe playthrough of the arcade game on uh, the Wii, the Wii version, the Wii Virtual Console. Uh, I loved playing uh, the Simpsons arcade game. That's on here. I might have to do that as a six-pack or as a CTG episode with my girlfriend. Um, Double Dragon. I love the Double Dragons in your arcade. NBA Jam. Awesome game. Used to play that. Look for to play that if it was in the arcade. Uh, up until, up until I went, went to community college, there were, uh, I think there were three arcades in the area, and, uh, I didn't, I didn't stay in community college, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't something that I liked, and, uh, joined the army. I think when I joined the army, that's when, like, stuff around here changed. Like, the arcades disappeared. <laughs> I can't come back home, there's no arcades. And I was like, what the hell? Uh, I live in an area where there's, there's still some arcades around. Like... I live next. I live 20 minutes away from Hershey, Pennsylvania, chocolate capital of the United States. It's like they have really nice arcades in that park that are full of all the old retro games that anybody that's watching this would want to like play. Like the amusement parks, they have arcades like that still. Um, Knobles Grove is another amusement park. It's, uh, it's like a free amusement park, where in a sense that you don't you don't pay to get in. You uh, just pay for whatever ride you want to ride. And uh, my son and I, we like going there. They they got nice arcade stuff in there too. Um, we were there last summer checking just checking stuff out, which is actually a really good place to go. When it's open in, in the fall, spring, summer, and fall, if you just want to go play uh, arcade games, that's actually a good place to go. You don't got to pay to get in, and uh, just take quarters with and play the arcades. That's your thing, you know. Get in there and play arcade games. Uh, Dorney Park isn't that far away. Dorney Park Wild War Kingdom. That's a uh, pretty good amusement park. They've got arcades in there. Um, but then there, there are 
there's one or two malls that still have an arcade in them. They don't have a lot of like really, really good games. They don't really have a lot of the old games, but still arcades around. Arcades are not like they used to be though. Even the ones in the amusement park. You just you, you go in there to play and you know that you're probably not gonna find anything new. And it's gonna be a bunch of stuff that you've already played and you know what you're looking, you know. And then you gotta be lucky if they have that game. Stage six. I miss the arcades. It's kinda wild I, I bought this Pandora's box. Um, it's not perfect, but, like, it doesn't have that last mission game, but, uh, wish it did. And there's a couple other games it doesn't have, I wish it had, like, in the arcade, when I was a kid, I really liked playing Rostin, that's not on here, um, uh, and it's kind of disappointing that it's not on here. Because it's got like fucking ten versions of other games, like ROM hacks and shit. And it's like Rostin runs pretty good in Mame. Last time I, you know, checked it out or Final Burn Alpha. I'm not sure what's running inside here. It's either Mame or Final Burn. But uh, they could have had that game in here. I don't understand why they didn't. You know what I love? I'd like to play that game. I'd like to play a game with my girlfriend. But it does have a bunch of games that I do like. That that I that I bought this specifically just to play those games. Like all the Metal Slugs are on here. Like at least like one through five and X are on here. Uh, all the Street Fighters, Street Fighter Zero, Street Fighter Three. Uh, it does not have Mortal Kombat, it does not have, uh, Killer Instinct, but, it's got all the Capcom Marvel fighting games, minus, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, because that's a Sega Naomi game, um, But it, 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 it's got a nice selection of games. 800 games is like nothing to sneeze at. Even with the... I would say it's probably somewhere between... 20 and 50 dupes. Or, or duplicates. You don't want to stay in one spot and shoot at that son of a bitch. I need to sip my beer after this. I'm talking a lot. Alright. down. One man to go. Oh, I love that beer. I mean, there's beers that you drink that you savor the taste of that beer. Because it's really good. And then there's beer that tastes real good and you just drink it because you just want to get drunk. This beer is that beer. It tastes good, but it's cheap. So you can drink it and get drunk on it. Um, it's good. If if you can get this beer wherever you're at watching this video, get a case of it. 
I'm sure it's just as cheap where you're at. I'm sure it's like the twelve seventy five that I paid for it down the street here at the beer distributor. Get a case, check it out. If you find that you don't like it, give it the help. Keep it as beer for you, you know, the asshole you work with you don't like. They come over, you give them that beer to drink, and you drink what you like. Um, it's good though. Like my friends, I have friends that they like this beer. They'll drink this beer. They they know. Oh, I'm gonna go to Ryan's house. He's got Lion's Head. I'm gonna have a couple of them. They'll be good. I have family that drink this beer. That it's their go-to beer because they like it. It tastes good. All right, let's play. Ah. I want that one up. So, just bought a PS3 fat backwards compatible. Um, I want to do the jailbreak on it so that I can get it set up because there's a lot of stuff I want to play, but my systems aren't modded for. Uh, RGB and I don't want to mod them for RGB one because it costs money that's just I, I don't have money to do that shit and the other thing is I want to keep them the way they're supposed to be I don't want to uh, I don't want to change my NES I want my NES to stay the way it is I don't want to solder anything inside it. I don't want to take anything out of it. I, I have my EverDrive and I just want to let let it like that. I don't need to change it. I like it the way it is. I have a I have a a CRT TV to play on. Not a PVM. I don't need a PVM. Uh, because quite frankly those systems weren't meant to be played on PBM so yeah it looks good but that's not how it was supposed to look it was supposed to be on a shitty freaking TV from the 1980s not a fucking security fucking high production value fucking TV it's just not how it was meant to look, to look. and it's not how it looked when I played it as a kid, and I just, I, I like played on the TV I got. It's like an enhanced definition to TV. It uh, has HDMI, it, it goes up to 1080i, um, and that's good, that's, that's what I want, I like that. Um, it's got component, composite, S-video. So everything that I own, I can hook it up to it, it looks great. Looks how I remembered it. And I can actually output that video to my capture device and, and record it. It doesn't look that great on there though. Like, I watch other people's YouTube channels and they got their shit modded so that it looks really good, like on PBMs and stuff. And I like that. It looks good. I don't want to mod my stuff to do that though. I just I want to keep it original, as original as I can keep it. Um, like I have some systems I modded. My Saturn's modded. It's got a chip in it. Um, probably shouldn't have done that. Didn't need to. I, I have I have the uh, action replay. I could have done pseudo Saturn, and, and and I had to put a mod chip in it. But Saturn I had before I had a mod chip in it, and I liked it. I liked the way it was set up. So that's why I did that. 
Uh, my original Xbox will be soft modded once I get around to doing it. I haven't done it yet. Um, and I may put a chip in it as well. Uh, PlayStation 2 is soft modded with uh, free MC boot. I like that. But the thing with that is you just take the memory card out and it's stock. My Wii is modded, soft mod. Uh, my Wii U, soft mod. MV Wii on there is soft mod. Um, I have PS1. I did not chip it. I'm t I think I'm just going to let that the way it is because I don't need the PS1 modded. I have a PS2 that's modded and the hope is that this PS3 that I bought can mod that and uh, pretty sure they got RetroArt running on that and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to use that to play a lot of classic stuff on and do captures with it through the HDMI. Um, I'm not above using emulation. emulation. That's This is emulation. Um, emulation, it can look just as good. And It's just easier for what I have, what I'm doing, what I want to do. The emulation will uh, work out great. Well, that sucks balls. I was just like doing so fucking good there. I think this is the last level. It just seems like it. But yeah, the hope is that that PlayStation 3, once I uh, put the custom firmware on it, it will... I can load all the ROMs I want on it, all the other shit, and I, I can just use that as my capture thing. Unless I'm playing, like, something newer that can't be emulated on there, like Wii, Xbox, uh, or, you know, like, anything else, like, like, I don't know, GameCube, probably wouldn't work on there, but then I could do that on the Wii U, with, uh, the mods on there, and, and I'd like, I'd like to do some GameCube stuff, I'd like to, uh, record some. I would like to do uh, six packs and shooters with a couple GameCube games. It doesn't look like I'm hitting anything. And then I kill it. I don't get it. Whatever, I'm pretty sure it was the last stage. There you have it. That was uh, not a hard game. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that that was a fun game, but uh, the names fit. So we'll let the credits roll because I doubt anybody that's watching this video has ever seen the end of this game. I know this guy here has not. But yeah, once I get that, that, that PS3 set up, um, we're gonna up, up the level of gaming that I've been recording. want to get back in, I want to actually do some NES games. Um, I want to do some Sega Genesis games. I want to get to the point where I can do a couple 
Turbo Graphics 16 PC Engine games. I want to. There's a couple I want to play. Uh, let's put my name in here. There you go. It only took me what twenty continues to beat that. Five dollar, five dollar make you holla in the arcade. But there you go. That was uh, I don't even remember the name of the game. What was it? It was uh, Tiger something, Flying Tiger. So gonna show the name? Yeah, Flying Tiger. There you go. It, it, it looks like a cheap Chinese knockoff game is what it looks like. You know. Alright, catch you next time on Six Packs and Shooters. Next video I'll be making will be with my son, another man and monkey game. I'm not sure what we're playing. I'm trying to talk him into going and playing an NES game with me, but I don't know if he'll do it. He, uh, he likes to just play what he likes to play, and that's been mostly Smash Ultimate and Smash Ultimate is a good game but it's not a game I want to play all the time but anyways catch you later out